Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer. It's March 2nd, Tuesday. Let's go through the pages. For the breviary, we'll be using Volume 2. Our hymn will be found at 1261, followed by the first antiphon and the psalm. Our readings will be at 170, followed by the gospel antiphon. Our benedictus will be in 1051. For the Christian prayer book, it's hymn number 12. Antiphon will be uh, 802, reading at 299. The Benedictus will be in 691. Let us have a moment of silence as we prepare our hearts for our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This day God gives me strength of my heaven, sun and moon shining, flame in my heart, flashing of lightning, wind is its God sends me strength as my guardian, light to uphold me, wisdom sky. Your eyes are watchful, your ears are listening, your lips are speaking. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation from a deceitful and cunning man. Rescue me, O God. Since you, you O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O oh, send forth your light and your truth. Let this be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy, my Redeemer. I will thank you on the harp, O oh God, my God. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise Him, still my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, Lord send, send forth, forth your, your light and, and your, your truth. truth. Lord, keep us safe all the days of our life. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart to the gates of the netherworld, I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow man among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling like a shepherd's tent is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion he breaks all my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow I utter shrill cries. I moan like a dove. 
My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am in straits. Be my surety. You preserve my life from the pit of destruction when you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not never world that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks as I did today. Fathers declare to their son, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to stringed instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, Lord keep, keep us, us safe, safe all, all the days, days of our life. life. To you, O God, our praise is due in Zion. To you, our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you, we pay our vows, you who hear our prayer. To you, our all flesh will come with its burden of sin. Too heavy for us, our offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God our Savior, the hope of all the earth and the far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength, you are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The land of sunrise and sunset you fill with your joy. You care for the earth. Give it water. You fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth. You drench its furrows. You level it, soften it with showers. You bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness. Abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy. The meadows covered with flocks. The valleys are decked with wheat. They shout for joy. Yes, they sing. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To you, O God, our praise is due in Zion. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. God is gracious and merciful. We are blessed by God with all that we have, but our memory is not always at its best. We forget that He is our Father and we are His children. And home is where our Father is. Fortunately, God the Father is gracious and merciful. He allows us opportunities to return to Him. He also gives us that choice we call free will. That if we want to return to Him, through our hearts, we will change our ways that are in accordance with His will, not ours. It's also called repentance. Jesus wants all of us to return to Him 
and be saved at the cost of his life by suffering, also known as passion, and dying on the cross for us. And by his resurrection, he sets us free from the earthly bondage and he leads us under the embrace of his loving arms where we can rest and feel we are home. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. From those who would trap me with lying words. And from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. You have one teacher, and he is in heaven, Christ your Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall dwell, shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You have, you have one, one teacher, teacher and, and he, he is in, in heaven. heaven. Christ, Christ your Lord. Lord. God the Father has given us His only Son, the Word made man, to be our food in our life. Let us thank Him and pray. May, May the, the Word, Word of Christ, Christ dwell among, among us in all its riches. riches. Help us in this Lenten season to listen more frequently to your Word, that, that we, we may celebrate the solemnity of Easter with greater love for Christ, our Paschal sacrifice. May your Holy Spirit be our teacher, that we, we may encounter those in doubt and an error to follow what is, is true and, and good. good. Enable us to enter more deeply into the mystery of your Anointed One, that, that our, our lives may reveal Him more effectively. Purify and renew your Church in this time of salvation, that, that it, it may give an ever greater witness to you. Let us take this time to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we offer to you our prayers and petitions, together with the prayers and concerns of everyone else who was praying with us this morning. We ask that you hear and answer our prayers as we say, May, May the, the word, word of Christ, Christ dwell among us in all its richness. We gather together as one family, one community, and pray the prayer your Son Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, 
Watch over your church and guide it with your unfailing love. Protect us from what could harm us and lead us to what we will that would to what will save us. Help us always, for without you we are bound to fail. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time. Same place. Same channel. Have a great day.